Hey guys, welcome back to some more Friday Night Magic and this time we're coming back with black. So we're probably going to keep this hand because it's pretty sweet. I've got something to play turn one, something to play turn two if I don't draw anything and then a definite turn three play. He will be played because he is just phenomenal. I use him a lot. I think I've got three of them in this deck. I might only have two. But I've got more than one because it's a very good card. Very good. Okay, so we'll play my turn two. And of course we've got the lovely Nightmare for later. Who's a flying XX. Well, it's star star, but same thing. Uh, and star is equal to the number of swamps I control. So it's a pretty powerful flyer and it's six costs so in a mono black deck you're already having six swamps which is just badass okay so turn three i'll get my messenger out now when he enters target player loses two life oh, no so it's target opponent because i can't choose myself so you lose two and then i attack you for four because suck it so we're beating down fairly quickly actually. I'm surprised things are going this well. Especially against a green deck. But I suppose green deck is high mana, high creatures. Whereas I did kind of get things rolling fairly quickly for other black deck. Wait, really? Nothing to play this turn either? Oh wow, you are screwed. So I have another messenger. And I have the abattoir ghoul. But I'm going to play the abattoir ghoul. Because then I can defend. Because these guys will just die. The Avatar Ghoul will gain me life and other stuff. And of course he's first rate. So he's pretty good for defense and attacking. But defense. Because the black deck doesn't have much defense. Black deck is just... I have things that I don't care about dying. So come at me bro. Actually I think I win next turn. Unless you can play... Four creatures. Nope, that's all his mana. So I win next turn because he can't block enough. Yeah, I win. Well, that was quick. Uh, I think actually I'm just going to run through another game because that's a legit win in five turns. It's five, isn't it? One, two, three. Four. And this is five, yeah. So turn five win. That's pretty badass. Okay. Well, that was a lot shorter than I expected. So we'll have another game. God, this is the only thing I hate about M14. Okay. Oh. Do I play a sacrifice? Oh, that's pretty sweet. I don't know what rebound does there. I'll keep that on my deck. I'm not going to take that out. Please don't put me against black. Black is just terrible because black v black is... Oh, sweet. Any mulliganed. Uh, no creatures and that is just boss. So I want that late game. Oh, that's better. That's far, far better. That is just... Oh, that's so good. And that, actually. Yeah, this whole hand is pretty sweet. I know it's only one land, but I'm going to go with it. I'm just going to roll with it. Okay, so we have a Vampiric Tutor. So even if we don't get lands, we can get one. So if we don't draw a land, I'm probably going to Vampiric Tutor. Bring, get a land. Yeah, because I, I can't miss a land drop. Not with this deck, not with this hand. So I'm going to... I'm going to get a land. No, a land, not a cat. But this is what I hate about early game choosing from your deck. Because everything is so tightly packed. Wait, I have to pick the cat again. Okay, that's a land. Let's have that swamp. And then, because we haven't played, what? 
What? What? Oh, let's put that card on top of it. Holy shit. Oh, that's so bad. Well, it's not that bad, but, you know, could be better. Okay, so we'll put you there, because I kind of want that to die. Now, this enchantment here is... Oh, I love it. When three things die, and it doesn't have to be mine, it could be any three things. Whenever a, th a creature dies, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. 1-1 uh, -one -one quest... not a 1-1. One -one. Yeah. Whenever a creature dies, put a quest counter on it. Now, when it has, uh, I think it's three quest counters? Is it three? Yes, it's, uh, yeah, it's three. And then I can sack this and get a 5-5 five, five black zombie. So I can basically trade in, like, I, I could trade this for something, and then this for something. And for one black mana, I don't lose anything. Because I could use one black mana to bring this grave crawler back. And then I could stack my thing for a 5-5. Five, five. And this thing has undying, so when it does eventually die, it comes back with a plus one plus one counter. Because it's just two boss. But I'm not really getting any lands. I need lands. <laughs> I love how it's contrast though. Because I'm not getting any. He's getting too many. And that's going to get out of hand very quickly. Because his deck is just cats. Heroics. And. Aura shoes. So I'm going to let him cast a bunch of auras on it. And then I'm going to kill it. Doomblade! So you paid your mana and now I'm going to kill it. And because it died I get a quest counter. And then your aura fizzles. Well, Suck it. Ah, no! Come on! I need land! Give me land! Why you not do? Oh my god. So what's annoying is I can cast over half of my hand if I had one more land. Just one more. <laughs> like, I can't, can't cast everything, but that would be badass as hell. Gives everything plus one plus one. Oh god, he's getting his aura back. That's not good. Wait, it's four mana, isn't it? So I think he can actually play it on that creature as well. Yeah, he can, and he's going to. Oh my god, it's plus one plus one for each plane you can draw. I didn't read that the first time. Holy shit, what even is that? Yeah, a bit late now. <laughs> bit late now. Okay, I reckon it's just piss through time. I reckon that's the kind of game we're in now. I think it's just attack and hope. Because that's a 6-6 six, six flyer. Jesus Christ, we're going to die. Come on, block. I want a 5-5. Five, five. That's it. Okay, quest counter. And I can bring that back next turn, if I want to. I'm not sure whether I do. Oh, God. Oh, God, he's making it bigger. Oh, no. Oh no, come on! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh god, it's huge. That's what she said. Oh, uh, why? Wait, how much damage? I can't do 12 damage, can I? No way. <laughs> A 3 1. No! I can't even stop that flying. Okay, uh, I'm just going to restart my new vid, so hang on. 
Sorry about that. You shouldn't notice a thing, but in case you did, uh, that's because I play Magic on PC, and my PC recording, because I haven't paid for my recording software, I can only record 10 minutes at a time. So I have to quickly stop and start a new one, and then combine them in editing, but that's fine. Uh, what do we want to do? I'm not sure we actually... Oh, I don't think there's really anything we can do because we're going to die next turn. So unless we can deal that much damage. But we can't really. So I'm just going to go with the Lord of the Underworld. We didn't get mana quick enough. Oh god, this is only going to go badly. I don't think we're gonna, yeah, we're, we're not hitting for nothing here. Like, he takes 8 and he goes down to 4. I suppose I could have... I was gonna say I could have had him down to 2, but that wouldn't be right at all, because... they wouldn't have plus 1 plus 1. So I wouldn't. That was the best play I had. Okay, skip blocking, because... I'll die either way. <sighs> I hate it when the white deck buffs things like that. Okay. I think we'll do one more game. If it's the white deck or the black deck, I'm restarting. Because that white deck is just horrendous. Oh, the silver deck. Oh, this could be fun. Oh, that's going to be... No, that's going to be rather bad, actually. That could be alright. And the Quest of the Grave Lord, so I'm gonna keep that. I have a turn one play. It's not great, but I have a turn one play. And then hopefully I draw a two drop. And then I draw a land. And then another land. That's that's the optimal draw to. Yeah, two drop, that's perfect. Because yes, I might lose two life, but I get to draw two, which is just what I want. Sweet, land. Because I can regain that two so quickly. Okay. So I'm going to play that, and then I'll get my staff out, because then I can start gaining life. So now every black card I play, I will gain one life. Which, in my mono-black deck, is pretty sweet. Now the plan is get the Abattoir Ghoul out as fast as possible. Because the Abattoir Ghoul will just be boss as heck. Oh, that's going to be fun later. I'm just going to kill all my shit. I'm going to get all my stuff killed, and then I'm going to bring everything back. Oh wait, it's not even my stuff. Oh wow, that's more powerful than I thought it was. I thought it was just my graveyard, but that's all. Put all creatures from all graveyards into play on my battlefield under my control. That's boss. <laughs> that's brilliant with altar dust. Every player sacrifices all coloured permanents they control. So you sack all of your creatures. Then I play this. Just get all of them on my side. Okay, so there we go. We've actually gained enough life to offset what we did originally. Which is pretty sweet. So that little two loss we did to draw two actually hasn't affected us at all because of my staff. Uh, please, please initiate combat. You won't, but please. Aww. All creatures have double strike. Oh, this could be fun. This could be really fun. Because I can kill everything you hold dear. <sighs> mm. 
Uh, is that an instant? Is it an instant? I'm not sure. Oh, it is. Nice. So I'm not going to play anything because I presume he'll attack. Then I can make everything lose. Double strike. Yeah, I suppose that's a decent play. It's pretty sweet, I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to skip attack and hope he attacks. If he doesn't, I'm just going to play it anyway because I want that double strike dead. So either way, that double strike is dying, whether my creature kills something else or not. Because the plan is, he will attack with his stuff, I will block with my first strike, then I will kill the double strike, then blocking will commence, and my first strike will kill, and hopefully not die. Now he's main phasing. Okay. <laughs> no. Screw that. You are not keeping that double strike silver. It yeah. will die. If you're not going to attack, I'm just going to kill it anyway. I kept my mana open, I'm using it. Oh god, ramping. Oh, what the hell is that? What is that? Oh, is that what I think it is? Oh, <laughs> whenever a creature you control dies, another player sacrifices a creature. Oh, that's just evil. Let's go for it. So I'm going to attack my first strike. No, they didn't block. Why? Why didn't you block? That was not nice. You were supposed to block. Okay, uh, what do they have in their grave? Oh crap, they have the double strike. Oh no, I'm not blocking. I'm not blocking. I'm going to take all of this. It's going to hurt, but I'm going to take it. Because I can't afford to block. I need that creature. It was a stupid move. I shouldn't have attacked. Ow, the pain. Which hasn't actually affected me that much. I'm still only one behind. Oh, good. Silvers have travel now. This should be funny. Ha ha ha. Okay, I'm gonna play that. And then I'm gonna play that. Uh, you can lose two life. Lose two life. Yeah. Okay, don't attack. Do not attack. What's great here is I'm going to throw both of my creatures in front of that huge one. They will both die. And then I will get all of my stuffs. All the stuffs. Oh no, he's going to attack at everything. He's going to kill off all my stuff before it even starts. Wait, what? He didn't attack? Oh, okay. That's weird, actually. Yeah, that's very weird. I'm not sure why you did that. But hey, don't let, don't let me stand in your way. I'm just going to attack with my shears. I'm going to attack with that one that can't die. And when it does die, it comes back stronger. He is blocking that, right?
Okay, so he did block it, which is exactly what I wanted. So I get another counter, and it comes back, and he has to sack the creature. So he sacks the creature, another creature died. I get my creature back, but bigger. Uh, he loses two life, because it came back on the battlefield. And then I can remove the counters and get a 5-5 five, five black zombie giant. So I think that went pretty well, don't you? <laughs> that went extremely well. Why is it a 6-6? Six, six? Oh, he sacrificed the one that gives everything one life. Oh, that's... that's weird. I would have sacrificed one of the 2-2s. Two as in, the ones that are just tokens. No, no, no! <laughs> right, sack a creature. Bastard. Oh, your stuff is going to pay for that. I really don't want to play that. At the same time, I really do. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill his creature, which isn't normally what I do with a corrupt, but I'm going to kill his creature because then I can attack him with everything. And only have the fear of one thing dying. And if it dies, they have to suck a creature anyway, so you know. No, actually, I suppose they won't have any creatures left if they block, so. Okay, so they're blocking, yeah, pretty much what I thought they would. Which is all good. So I lose my 2-2. Two, two. Oh well, you have to sacrifice your 3-3. Three, three. The only thing surviving. And then I still have my field. And then... Uh, is it 2 lands time? No, 3 lands time. Okay, so I can earn you and win this turn. Sweet. Well, there we go. And we attack and win. So, we were completely demolished by a white deck, but we've seen the black deck do some fairly decent play. I quite like my black deck. I think it's the one I have the most unlocked, because it's just, it's just good. I love it. Oh, Grave Betrayal. I love that card. That's a card I've been trying to get hold of in real life for so long. When a creature you don't control dies, return to the battlefield under your control with an additional 1-1 one, one counter. At the beginning of the next end step, that creature... Oh, he's a black zombie in addition to all other colours. I did not know that. That bit I didn't know about, but that bit is kind of weird anyway. So, there you go guys, that's some Friday Night Magic for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, goodbye guys.